Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Elise. Um, I'm a senior in college. Um, I've always loved makeup, but I've always been too scared to do a YouTube channel. But I'm starting this year because we're in quarantine and ain't nothing else to do. Y'all can watch my videos. Okay, this look, okay, is almost, almost, okay, except for one product, an e.l.f. full face tutorial. Everything you see on my face, except for my bronzer, is some e.l.f. That's ridiculous because the average price of their makeup products is about $3. $3. This is not go to the grocery store. Nah, this is, I'm finna go out, you know what I'm saying? Inspired by the nights I would've spent out if the coronavirus wouldn't have ruined my junior year, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here to give you the makeup tips for the dark skinned girls like me. If you like these look, stay tuned and keep watching. We're gonna start with this e.l.f. Super Mask. I got this as a free gift from ordering all this stuff for this video. So you're supposed to allow the mask to sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Let's see. I just washed off that mask. My skin feels, I mean, it feels good. I feel like it calmed down a bit. I like the brightness my skin has from doing the mask. So, so far I like it. So a bit of SPF. Um, I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost line just because um, it's a water gel formula. So if you have oily skin like me, it won't break you out. Okay, so first I'm gonna use two e.l.f. primers, um, just kind of all over, the hydrating primer. Because here recently I've been seeing that my makeup has been just a little too matte. Um, it's the summertime and I definitely don't want to be like a big oily mess, but at the same time, you don't want your face, <gasps> you don't want your face to be too matte because you'll look dead and that's not cute. Um, next I use this e.l.f. poreless primer, the liquid. So, I use a pump for this. And a pump of this. And I just kinda mix them together on the back of my hand. Next, we're gonna use one more primer. This may be extra, but it is the summertime, ladies and gentlemen. So here I have the e.l.f. Um, poreless putty primer. Okay, I like the way that feels so far. Okay, now we're going to set this down with a bit of translucent powder. So I bought two different shades. This is the 
e.l.f flawless finish foundation in cocoa which is uh, a little bit darker also a little bit more neutral i have yellow undertones so to kind of balance that out i got this shade latte i'm hoping to mix these two together because this looks a little light i'm hoping to mix these two together and get something that's gonna look like my shade i hope so anyway so let's just see we're gonna do cocoa first i'm scared okay come on elf don't play me look but also let me tell y'all something a pump on a drugstore foundation almost unheard of for six bucks definitely unheard of i kind of like that let's just go one more pump of that that might have just been half of, yeah that looked like it came out as like half a pump at first we got about one and a half pumps right here on the back of my hand it definitely does look neutral though so we're gonna mix in a, a bit of this latte to kind of see what's popping but to find a, a drugstore foundation with the pump on it that's like <sighs> so hard to find especially Especially with this kind of a shade range, that's gonna be harder to do. So I did about one pump of this. Mind you, this is a lot of foundation. I probably won't even use all this, but I'm using a lot just for mixing purposes. So I'm just gonna kinda mix that on the back of my hand and Lord, pray that it looks decent when I put it on. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. They have six shade categories. So they have fair, light, medium, tan, deep, tan, deep, and rich. Um, I fall into the deep category, which is a big deal because there's a whole nother set, not just one or two, a whole set of foundations that are after my shade. That is such a big deal for a drugstore brand. Like I can't even, I cannot talk about that enough. And the shades that I'm using aren't at the bottom of the deep range either. So of the deep range either so I like to go in with my elf foundation palette in deep and use this red tone shade right here um because i have yellow undertones the bit of red in this shadow kind of helps to cancel out my dark circles I use this in place of like just a straight up orange corrector. So I go around in my mouth uh, because I have, you know, kind of gray -ish discoloration around my lips just from being dark skinned. Okay, now we're gonna go into the concealers. First, I wanna put down Deep Olive, this super yellow buttery shade. First of all, look how fat this applicator is. Why is it so fat? But we gonna, I don't wanna do the most with this. We just gonna kinda, but this is really yellow and this is really bright. Uh, but I like it, don't get me wrong. I really like that. And then we're gonna kinda go around it with deep chestnut. Kinda see, it's popping. So you can see that's a bit of a, it's less yellow. And it's a little deeper than deep olive. So I like the idea of mixing them together. So going back into the ELF foundation palette and deep, I'm gonna take your finger and just kind of dip into these two um, deeper shades on the bottom row. We're gonna have to step it up, elf. Step it, step it, elf, elf. Step it up, elf. Because, like, it's so hard doing my makeup. It's so hard doing my makeup, being dark skin and not having like adequate, you know, like products to use because they don't make them in my shape. Mind you, black girls wear bronzer. There are bronzers that are like, you know, black girl friendly. And I usually use them. It's actually a drugstore brand, Black Radiance, that has really good bronzers for black girls. Now they're not named bronzers, they're just like 
regular setting powder shades but for somebody that's like my skin tone they definitely work as bronzers and oh sweetie you ain't got no excuse you just don't no. And I just use a little bronzer right here at like the head of my brow to this part of my nose. I got this too from Jackiana. Since we don't have that available to us, just kind of squeezes the butt of the blender and just kind of be kind of careful though. And just kind of, you know, don't do the most. By the time you use all this highlighter stuff, not highlighter, but like highlight concealer shades in the front of your face. You lose a lot of color um, that your foundation would put down. So just to kind of make sure you keep the color in the center of your face, you know, doing a little bronze at the head of the brow kind of helps with that. Y'all can see it's, it's a little deep, but it's not doing the most. It doesn't look like, oh, I was contouring my nose because, you know, I contour your nose is fine. I just personally don't like to do it, you know, so I don't. use this little fan to dry down the concealer to really make sure that coverage is there so far though i like it so pretty and buttery that's enough <laughs> okay now let's blend out uh this right here I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush just to kind of blend everything back. Okay, now comes the exciting part. Exciting but scary part. Now I'm gonna do my brows. I use the e.l.f. Brow Pomade. I use it to prime my lids. Okay, now here's the exciting part. You get to use the new e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. These are little bitty eyeshadow palettes and they're only $3. So, I bought three of them. I got this one in Very Bad. It's cute. It's cute. I got this one in Jalapeno. Um, Monica Muse, if you watch her YouTube channel, she used this one and it looks so good. It was so pigmented. And then I have this one, Truffles. And this is the one I'll be using today. We've been doing a little, it's the first video, you know what I'm saying? I have to bring y'all in something kind of slight. Take a real fat linen brush like so. And I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. Okay, now we're gonna go into the deeper brown shape. This smaller kind of table brush, we're gonna go with the deeper brown just to kind of really get it in the pocket of the crease right there. We Help me, Jesus, don't y'all do this. I didn't put down any setting powder to catch the fallout. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so go back in to your powder.
Okay, next I'm gonna take an even smaller kind of crease brush and go into the shimmery black they have on here. This shade right here. And, whoo, kind of scared of this. You're gonna wanna focus into the crease, like really focus. Do not do the most and focus this on like your outer V. With the fat brush and blend the edges around that, just cause you don't wanna, you don't want any like super harsh lines or anything. Okay. This brush right here, which is really supposed to be for like using shadows as your bottom liner. I'm gonna take this black and kind of make a baby wing with it. Y'all see what I'm saying? Just a little something. With my finger, cause I don't even wanna try with a brush. With my reading finger. And just take that. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's bright. Oh, that's, oh, that's my plan. This is, this is bright, honey. This is not a joke. Look, this is not a drill, honey. She's bright. You want it to be not as much of a line as it is. You just kind of want a little, you know, like a wing, but not a wing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go back and recarve that out with your setting powder if you have to. This little three dollar setting powder in the color. In the shade deep. I ordered another pattern in the shade deep, honey. And when I tell you that thing was medium tan at best, like I don't know who on L team told them that that was a deep shadow, but it ain't. I definitely want to warm up my face a little bit, which is exactly what the free. I'm gonna do, and because Elf doesn't have any bronzers for people darker than sunlight, we're gonna use this bronzer from Black Radiance. back over this I like this so now what we're gonna do is I should have blended though make sure that's blended you don't want to have start different things okay now what I'm gonna do is take this little brush and line uh, my bottom lash line with this dark brown from the palette this right here last thing for my eyes I'm gonna take a little bitty brush like this and go back into the silver shade and use that to highlight my inner corner Into this elf deep blush palette deep blush palette 
focusing on this color right here and I just wanna at the height of my cheeks kind of focus it. Now this thing is, as y'all can see, a little pigmented. Be careful, honey, cause she's gonna give you pigmentation if she don't give you nothing else. And if you feel like you put too much on, don't stress, don't stress. Go back over your blush with your powder brush and your powder and just kind of go over it. We are gonna put in a bit of highlighter. Kind of excited. If I can open it. Wow. <laughs> Just gonna dip into this, see what happens. <laughs> and me, I always do a little highlight on the nose. Back of my hand, just a little something. And I always do a little highlight on my cupid's bow. Now I'm gonna line my eyes with this black gel liner from e.l.f. Okay, now we're just gonna throw some lashes on. I actually found some e.l.f. lashes now. The lashes they have in store, you know, the very thin, very, you know, natural, lashes <laughs> which ain't the kind of lashes i like to wear but i went online y'all and to my surprise they got lashes like this in stock and they don't have them in store and i feel like elf lashes get such a bad rap because the ones they feature just aren't all that but then you got lashes like this on the website and they look so good and they look you know decent quality and people don't even know that they exist i should we're gonna start off with this brown lip liner. It's a lip liner that actually has a, um, a brush at the bottom to blend with. Now we're gonna go with this pinky nude. And then you're gonna finish off with this e.l.f. lip lacquer in the shade Natural. You know, finish off this e.l.f. makeup misting spray. And this is the finished look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Um, I'm hoping to put up videos at least like twice a week. I want to shout out a small YouTuber every video. So the first person I'm shouting out, which I will put their YouTube stuff right here and the link to subscribe. To the channel in the description box is my good close friend valerie shanae the girl does makeup and the girl is bad if you like makeup um but maybe you're lighter than me and you want to see somebody that's closer to your skin tone please go watch her videos they look great i would also like to shout out a comment in every video you know i just think it's cool thank you for the three people that have subscribed to me with no videos posted um, shout out to you, um, and 
Thank y'all. I'm excited. I really was not expecting Elf to go off like this, but she did what she had to do. She did what she had to do.